Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial, I will show you guys how to create or make media server using Jellyfin on your Raspberry Pi. So you just need to follow me. So at first you just need to insert the micro SD card to your computer. And after that, you just need to go to raspberrypi.com and click on software. After that, download for Windows so because I am using Windows operating system. So if you are using Mac or Ubuntu, then you can download from here. So I have already downloaded the Raspberry Pi Imager software. So you just need to download Raspberry Pi Imager. So let me show you. So here it is as you can see Raspberry Pi Imager. And also you need to download the ISO file of Raspberry Pi. For that you just need to click on see all download options. And here you will get all the Raspberry Pi ways with desktop. So as you can see here is showing like 32 bit so you can download 32 bit or 64 bit whatever you want. So I have already downloaded uh, Raspberry Pi with desktop 64 bit. So here is the downloading as you can see. So I, I will directly open Raspberry Pi image on, on my computer. And after that here I have to choose the device so click on choose device. So I have Raspberry Pi 4 so I will select here Raspberry Pi 4. So if you have Raspberry Pi 5 or 3 or 2 so you can select from here. After that, on choose ways, you can directly uh, download uh, the Raspberry Pi OS by using Raspberry Pi Imager. So I have already downloaded ISO file. So I'll click on use custom. Okay. After that, I will select the Raspberry Pi uh, Imager's uh, file over here and click on open. After that, click on choose storage. So here I will select my micro SD card, which is near about uh, 32 GB, as you can see. So I'll select that one and after that click on next. Now here you just need to click on edit settings. So I have already set a host name which is Raspberry Pi dot local and my username password will be technology so you can set any uh, username over here uh, and password over here you just need to put the password in my case it is 123 and my wireless LAN which is my Wi-Fi user ID means uh, SSID strict motion and password which I have already set over here you can set the time zone from here after that go to services over here you just need to enable SSH and use password authentications on option make sure that this three option is checked after that click on save once it will done you just need to click on yes and after that click on yes now it will take some time to prepare and create the Raspberry Pi uh, bootable uh, micro SD card so you have to wait for a few minutes After done, remove the micro SD card from your uh, computer and insert it on your Raspberry Pi. And after that, you just need to insert the power cable to your Raspberry Pi. Then I will connect here LAN cable to my Raspberry Pi. Now next, I will directly log into my router to check my Raspberry Pi IP address. So as you can see here is my Raspberry Pi IP address which is 192.168.0.122 Also I have connected through WAD So here is my WAD IP address as you can see which is 192.168.0.120 So now what I will do is I will close this window Now I will directly open Putty So you can download Putty from, uh, from your Microsoft Store or else you can go to Google and search for Putty after, after download Putty, you just need to connect through Putty to your Raspberry Pi. So here I will type my Raspberry Pi username which is technology and the password which is 123 and I have successfully connected as you can see. So now what you have to do, you just need to go to my website which is technology.in and where I have uh, posted one uh, article about Jellyfin installation on Raspberry Pi so simply you just need to first copy the first command which is update and upgrade the Raspberry Pi so I'll right click and press enter so now you have to wait for a few minutes so after update and upgrade 
done you just need to go to my website next you need to install https uh, transport and dependency for that you just need to copy this command and go to your terminal and right click and it will paste automatically now press enter from your keyboard once it will done you just need to go to my website and add jellyfin repository and gpg key so first i will copy the first command and open my notepad and copy paste that command next i will copy the echo command and right click and press enter next i have to type a uh, sudo apt update and press enter Once it will done, you just need to go to my website and you just need to copy the sudo apt install jellyfin y command and right click and press enter. After installation done, you just need to start and enable jellyfin service. For that, simply you need to type the command is called sudo system ctl enable jellyfin and press enter next command you need to type sudo space system ctl start jellyfin after that press enter once it will done i will type the command is called ipa so here is my ip address as you can see so i'll copy the ip address and simply I am I will open my browser and I will paste that IP address and after that port number will be 8096 okay and press enter now here you just need to click on next now you just need to set the username so by default it is showing like jellyfin so I'll set the username is technology and password I will set over here one two three and click on next after that as of now i will not add any media library so i'll click on next the next the next and then finish after that i have to log in with my username which i have created uh, what technology and password is 123 and click on sign in so now from here you can select your dashboard now to add any videos or files to your Raspberry Pi uh, Jellyfin server, what you have to do, you just need to click on library, libraries and here you can add the media library. So simply click on this plus button, content type, you can select here movies, music, whatever you want. And after that, from here, uh, folders, you just need to click on this plus button. Now select here, I will select here media folder slash media folder, I will click on OK. Now click on OK once again. Now what I'll do is I'll open my terminal once again. Now I'll give this uh, media folder full permission for that. I just need to type over here CD space slash. Now press enter. Now I'm, I'm under root folder. So now I'll type over here sudo chmod then space minus R in caps in space triple seven which is read write and modify permission and press space then slash media now press enter so now it is done as you can see so now what i will do is i will directly open filezilla okay so on filezilla i will type the host name which is in my case 192.168.0.122 which is my uh, raspberry pi ip address here it is username i will type my username which is technology 123 and the port number is 21 now i'll click on quick connect so if this is not working then type the port number is called 22 and try once again so now as you can see it is connected perfectly 
so now i'll click this uh, double dot button again now now i'm under root folder as you can see so i'll go under media folder and here i will upload few few video file from my computer so i'll select these two file and directly drag drop them over here so now as you can see it is uploading so you have to wait for a few few seconds so after upload it directly i will click on dashboard over here so now i'll click on uh, jellyfin so here is my movies as you can see it is showing under movies and if i'll play something and let me play this video so as you can see it is working perfectly so before ending this video i would like to share few quick things with you i create high quality tech related videos every day so if you enjoy my content and want to support my work please don't forget to subscribe my channel also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content so i'll see you guys on the next one next video till then bye bye take care